Hi, my name is Sharisa Reed and I work for the National Park Service in Yellowstone National Park. And like many of my friends and neighbors, I am a furloughed federal employee. My husband, who's the chief ranger of Yellowstone, is actually hard at work, but neither of us expect to receive a paycheck in the coming weeks. Yellowstone, which is just across the river here, is our home. It's where we've raised our family. And along with other national parks we've worked in, it's a place that we've worked hard to help people understand, enjoy, and also feel some ownership of. So it's very hard to make efforts to keep people out when our whole lives we've worked hard to get people in to places like this park. On top of this stress, we also have a business that has lost about $2,500 worth of revenue because our overnight guests are not allowed to come into the park and so they've canceled reservations for the month of October. It's fair to say that this isn't an easy time for our family, but we're also acutely aware of the fact that it's not an easy time for many other people. We hope Congress gets to work so that we can get back to ours. Hi, I'm Susan Benjamin and I have a shop here in Harpers Ferry National Park. It's called True Treats Historic Candy. We are affected by the shutdown in a couple ways. One on the negative side is that I've had to cut back my employees' hours. We are not making a fraction of the money that we made before. And unfortunately, I can't even pay my rent. Um, on the positive side, the people of the town have gotten together to make people aware that you can stop the government, but you cannot stop the river or the mountains. Hi, my name is Elisa Deer. My husband David and I have a small company called Deer Laser Works, and what we do is design and create uh, laser engraved wooden ornaments, magnets, keychains, and bookmarks. Right now, the uh, great majority of our customers are the gift shops located inside uh, the visitor centers at the national parks. Uh, so, ever since the government shut down and the parks were forced to close, um, we have been getting no business, no new orders, no reorders, and we've been recently notified that we will not be uh, getting paid for um, recent orders that we've already shipped. Um, so we're uh, hoping that uh, this government shutdown uh, will end soon, that the parks will reopen because we'd like to get back to work. Hi, I'm Scott Kirkwood and I've spent just about every Saturday morning of the last 15 years playing soccer on the National Mall here in D.C. And yesterday morning, a park police officer came by and told us we had to leave. We weren't allowed to play because the government shut down, which was really disappointing. I'm not sure how many people know, but in Washington, D.C., about 90% of the green spaces are run by the parks. So if you want to play softball or soccer or a lot of other sports, you're doing it on national park land. So I'm hoping the federal government can figure this thing out so we can get out there and run around again with our friends. Thanks a lot.